The vitamin D and omega-3 trial, VITAL, is a large-scale randomized trial of vitamin D and the marine omega-3 fatty acids in the primary prevention of cardiovascular disease and cancer. It's a large nationwide cohort of men and women 50 years and older. So previous randomized trials of the omega-3s have generally been in high-risk populations with a history of cardiovascular disease or with selected risk factors for CVD. This population, again, is usual risk. Uh, what we found in the omega-3 component with one gram a day of EPA plus DHA, and it's Omicor, which is known in the United States as Leveza, um, we found that oh, for the primary endpoint of major cardiovascular events, MI plus stroke plus cardiovascular mortality, there was a small but non-significant 8% reduction. However, for the pre-specified secondary endpoint of total myocardial infarction, non-fatal and fatal, we found a significant 28% reduction, but no reduction in stroke or cardiovascular mortality. When we looked at the baseline intake of fish, uh, which is known to be the major source of omega-3s in the diet, we found that fish intake was a modifier of the effect. Those who started out with intake below the average in the cohort, below one and a half servings of fish per, per week, did have a significant reduction in the primary endpoint of major cardiovascular events, a 19% reduction and also a 40% reduction in the risk of myocardial infarction, whereas those who started out above that level of fish consumption did not have any clear benefit from, the, from supplementation. And we think this adds to the biological plausibility that the marine omega-3s may actually favorably impact heart health. Um, however, no impact again on stroke or total uh, vascular mortality. We found no reduction in cancer or cancer death or in all-cause mortality, um, but we will be following the cohort longer to see if some of these other endpoints will, will change over time. So we also tested vitamin D, 2,000 IUs a day, and we found no significant reduction in any cardiovascular endpoint, either primary or secondary. Also, when we looked at the baseline uh, status of the participants in terms of their 25 hydroxy vitamin D, their blood level of vitamin D, we didn't see that that modified the outcomes of the, of the trial in that those who started out fairly low, even below 20 nanograms per mil, they did not have a reduction in cardiovascular events. And for cancer, we did see a signal that there may be a, a reduction in cancer death, but we did not see a, a significant reduction in cancer incidence. Previous trials have suggested that it may be cancer death that is more impacted by vitamin D than cancer incidence because there's evidence that vitamin D can influence the biology of the tumor and make the tumor less likely to be invasive or to metastasize. And previous randomized trials in a meta-analysis have suggested a reduction in cancer death, but not cancer incidence. When we accounted for the latency period and, and looked at those who had taken the vitamin D for at least the, the two years, we did see a statistically significant 25% reduction in cancer death. But we think that these findings should be you know, should be interpreted cautiously. Um, overall, we did not see side effects, significant uh, side effects or adverse events. We did not see hypercalcemia with the vitamin D or increased bleeding risk with the omega-3s. So the next steps will be to continue to follow the participants for a minimum of two years after the intervention st was stopped and to see if there's any new findings that emerge over time, in, especially in terms of cancer, cancer mortality, and all-cause mortality. Um, we also have several ancillary studies in VITAL. So we will be reporting results over the next six to 12 months about the effects of these interventions on diabetes, cognitive function, autoimmune diseases, depression, bone health, many other outcomes. And those findings may help to inform the overall benefit risk profile of these supplements. So stay tuned for the additional findings from VITAL. We will have results from 
more than 20 ancillary studies that are addressing a, a wide range of health outcomes in relation to both vitamin D and omega-3s.